I, I said to the team yesterday that um, they had to try and do me a favour in terms of make up for my mistake, in terms of my discipline to get sent off, and they certainly did that. It was an actual joy to watch the first half performance. I think that's what we promised our fans at the start of the season, and we certainly said we'd endeavour to try. And uh, we've done it. We've done it in patches. We've had some great score lines here, but I thought tonight, the first half, we were excellent. Um, complete control, fantastic football to watch. So I, I was delighted for the team, um, and the, the, the performance got rewarded with the goals. Um, so it certainly made watching, you know, stuck in a little room a lot easier um, when you when you put four goals away in the first half. But I think no more than we deserved. You know, some, sometimes goals can crop up at any time in a game. Um, you're always concerned when you're so dominant for the first 15 minutes and you've not scored. But but we then started putting the putting our chances away, and it was a great reward for a great play. Whether you win by one or five, you still get three points. But how much value does the confidence game have? I think I think um, it should be huge. Uh, I'm sure, as you can see, the confidence growing throughout throughout the game. I, I just think again. Um, the hard work that the players have put in and everyone's put in came out in patches tonight and um, I think it's good for strikers to score, mm -hmm. midfielders to score, ended up um, wing back, you know, getting a goal, so I think that breeds confidence. Um, the defensive performance should breed confidence as well, so again, I think we've, we've all managed to keep a pretty level head in the uh, results, any result, whether it's been good, bad or indifferent, We've been able to focus on the next game, focus on performance, and, and, and tonight the performance matched the result, and um, it was a big bounce back from a disappointing previous couple of games. You led uh, the first half by a big chunk going 2 nothing, and there was always that line about that being the most dangerous lead. Did you, did you breathe a little bit easier after number three and number four just before halftime? Did you maybe feel a little bit better after that? Uh, of, co of course. I think um, if, you, if you said you're going to end 2-0 at halftime, you're happy. Then when you add the third and the fourth, it, it certainly gives you a cushion. I think the way we've defended it as a team, you'd be disappointed if you if you let them back into the game. I thought we were very unfortunate with another penalty call tonight. I think it's maybe the rules have changed, so um, that's one of those things. But I think our defence and our team deserved a clean sheet, but it wasn't it wasn't to be. But as, as Mike just referred to, we we want three points. We're at the business end of the season. We. Um, We've maybe dropped a couple that we didn't want to, but again, it's all about reaction and we're, and we're right in there fighting with everyone else. When you're coaching out there on the sidelines, you don't ever get a chance to, to keep an eye on some of the other games going on, but did you did you keep track of some of the other scores going on tonight? Louisville did you guys a big favor. Uh, Pittsburgh and Nashville, last I checked, were still uh, level. That's, that's a good result for you guys. Are you you, you kind of keeping up on the other games going around too? Not tonight. I wasn't. I was solely focused on on our team and I was engrossed in the game and um, just just watching the game it's you know I think everyone knows it's, it's an emotional watching the game of football and um, I was kicking and heading every ball the same as I always do so wasn't concentrating on the results we'll obviously look at them um, tonight but I think you can see in this league and we're trying to stress it to the players that there's going to be twists and turns there's going to be teams that you think are going to win and then they drop points and vice versa and, and we need to just focus on keeping getting um, performances right and then trying to pick up as many points as we can to put ourselves in the position to be as high as we can and, to, and tonight the boys done that but we've got to do it again next next Saturday going to Louisville. Yeah, where, where did you watch the game from? Uh, I watched it from the up the top there in the suite and um, it was uh, yeah, a great view and, and actually gives you a different perspective but I don't plan on being there again uh, <laughs> anytime soon. Yeah. How about... Uh I think, I think, I think again. I've been at pains to stress all season about the team, in terms of the players, um, and how important they all are. Where Seba getting the goals, or Malik getting the assists, the, t the team play a big part of that. And, and equally, um, you know, I'm the head coach, but but my technical staff have been fantastic. I think you, you speak to any of the players, and particularly people like Seba and and Wan, and, and and the time that that Pat was put in with them. Is, is, has been excellent and he's a real phenomenal coach. Um, we get to see and work with these individuals and then when you add in like, you know, Shane Roberts, Stuart Dobbs and the work they do with individual players and the time they take, you know, we're, we're all working hard together behind the scenes and, 
I think I said it as a player and I, and I say it again now, we've got, we've got great people behind the scenes of this club. Um, you know, people that do operations, people that work in the athletic you know, training room. And, and now I think we're starting to make inroads to give them a team that they can be pleased and proud of. But again, we're just, we're just uh, still a work in progress. Um, I think the whole team did well. Uh, we bounced back from a disappointing loss in Ottawa, and it was a quick turnaround, so um, we just had to focus on Saturday and we got the job done. A couple of disappointing results coming into this. How important was the confidence you gained tonight? Very important, very important. We knew that uh, we had a tight schedule and we got to just focus on Saturday and get our heads right, and I think we did a good job. You know, all years it seems like you guys have played really better and, 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 and with a lot more confidence when you get that early lead. But then you just went and blew the doors off of it in the first half and go in for nothing. Was it a? What was the atmosphere like in the locker room at halftime this time around? Oh yeah, uh, at halftime we just we just knew that we had to come out with the same intensity, and we knew that they're going to come back stronger and harder. So we had to match it, and I think we did a great job. When was the last time you were a part of a half like that first time? Uh, I don't know. It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Leo, big week. You make your TV debut the other night. Uh, got a little behind-the-scenes action to come out and have a huge game tonight. How, uh, what's the overall feeling? I mean, it wasn't that great coming out of Ottawa on Wednesday night, but uh, totally different right now, I assume? Yeah, I mean, we needed that. Uh, tough uh, road trip to Ottawa, but the boys, the boys bounced back today in a, in a big way. In the first half, you saw we were very uh, you say, uh, ruthless. We, we were taking all the chances we can, and uh, it was a big uh, bounce-back game for us. A couple of you guys have some, some history with the, the Bethlehem and Philadelphia organizations. I know uh, I saw John talk to some people after the game. Anybody out there still associated with them that you're, uh, that you're familiar with or, or in contact with? Yeah, uh, the head coach, Brendan Burke, I, I played under him in, um, for Reading, a PDL team, and then I played with him sometimes when I would go down and pl play for the Steel a couple games. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm, I'm still good friends with him. So uh, I'm happy he's still coaching there, but sorry that, little, that, little sorry that they sorry. lost. That they, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. After the last two games, how much did the Rowdies need a, a win like that? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, you saw you saw us last week, and we, we we fought so hard. We were trying trying to get the win. We couldn't do that, and then we go to Ottawa, and uh, you know we don't play to to our best. But today uh, we came out, you know, um, trying to trying to score every opportunity we get, like we always do. But today the ball was going in the back of the net.